If anyone says they didn't like ice cream as a child, you're a liar. Or you were severely deprived. Hi, uh, yes, hello there. You certainly must be wondering what I'm doing laying down on my couch. And to that I say, I spent a pretty penny on this couch and I'm going to use it for its intended purposes regardless of how uncomfortable this is. Plus I'm trying to channel my inner Aizawa. Anyways, I'm going to continue to project my inner sorrows in an open dialogue to you, but it's going to be a little different, so... Oh hey, look at that, a new angle. How are you doing? Clearly that's rhetorical, and me, I'm doing fine. A couple days ago I decided to indulge in the sweet treat of frozen bovine titty juice. And I normally don't eat ice cream too often. A, because I really don't enjoy the taste of sweets all that much. And B, because I'm deeply in my mid 20s and my once fast metabolism left me somewhere in the intersection of being able to legally drink and buy my own food. Nevertheless, I decided to purchase an ice cream. I guess the little kid in me wanted to experience the itty bitty titty dopamine releases brought by two scoops of double chocolate on a waffle cone. And the thing is that I forgot that where I'm from, people from around the world would call me a Florida man. Florida. And correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, Floridians, but this place is a hellishly aquatic landscape of scorching heat, five minute severe thunderstorms, and humidity at 100%, 100% of the time. <laughs> But this place has always been home, and I have nothing but love for it anyways. Anyways, I'm eating this ice cream, and I'm trying to take my sweet time with this sweet treat, but it seemed like the ice cream had plans of its own. It basically melted immediately, leaving me with chocolate soup at the bottom of a waffle cone, which kind of got me upset more than I thought it would. So I'm going to bundle up this moment of emotion and compress it into a work of art to show you how a fleeting moment can lead to inspiration. So let's get into it. So for this piece I decided to opt for a wooden panel and acrylic paint. Obviously that's not paint, that's a pencil. But I started off by sketching with pencil the idea that I've had ruminating since the aforementioned melting. I wanted to create the face of a girl who is sad slash upset about ice cream melting, but this time I wanted to go with a cartoon style face. So you can see here that I made the neck slightly thinner than it should be, and the eyes bigger than normal to fit the needs of this piece. I also decided to make her hair out of ice cream cause screw it, I'm an artist and I think it's a pretty neat idea. Plus, imagine how she must be feeling compared to me having to deal with her hair melting all the time. Yeesh. So once I got to this point, I realized that the old acrylics I used to paint skin tones had seen better days, so I made the executive decision to pay the art store a visit. <coughs> the art store was closed. It had occurred to me that in my infinite wisdoms I had failed to realize that we had a tropical storm with the possibility of turning into a category 1 hurricane approaching, and thus stores were boarding up just in case. So I decided to trade in my artist hat and become a storm chaser. I went to the water, and it was pretty uneventful. Most Floridians don't really panic until a storm goes above category 3. So, the next day I went to the art store and grabbed myself a couple goodies, including more wooden panels for future art cyclopedias. Ooh, look, that's my Jimi Hendrix mugshot coaster. But more importantly than all that, I got all the paints I needed to finish this piece. So now it's time for me to work the skin tones. You can see here that I begin filling up general areas with what I want to use as her base skin tone. I initially intended to paint only certain areas of her face in this color, but then chose to cover her entire face instead. It's okay to change your mind, kids. So essentially, my biggest desire when creating this piece was to use the most appropriate flavors of ice cream to complement her look and deliver my message. In other words, I didn't want to use chocolate for her ice cream hair because it would distract from the look based off the way I drew it. And thus, I opted instead to give her a caramelly, chocolatey appearance, and you'll see in a little bit that I use pink for her hair. 
Now, going back to the fact that my ice cream melted, it really made me think about how finite things are in life. Everything has a beginning and an end, sure, and some ends are more inevitable than others. And people can get caught up in worrying about the future and regretting the past. However, most people can agree that ice cream is pretty freaking dope. And that brings me joy because it reinstills in me the belief that humans can find happiness in the moment. That's what you are when you're eating ice cream, right? Like you're in the moment. You know, you have a limited time before it's gone, yet you're able to enjoy it. Albeit the limit of time I expected for my ice cream didn't meet expectations, but you get the point. So next time you're out there doing something you love or hanging out with people you care about, treat it like ice cream and enjoy it while it's there. Be in that moment. Okay, now switching gears back to this painting, this spontaneous piece has stolen my heart and is honestly now my favorite painting. Oh, and one more thing, speaking of ice cream, it's time to hear from today's sponsor. <coughs> Wrong again, there's only like 30 of you guys that watch this. Anyways, here's the finished piece, bye!